The woman who's singing the songs her mother taught her. Songs like this. Chicago, Chicago, Please welcome Judy Garland's daughter, Lorna Luft. It's lovely to see Thank you again. Thank you so much. Now, Lorna, the CDs, Songs My Mother Taught Me. Yes. You know, it's, everybody thinks, you know, Judy Garland must have gone around the house singing the whole time. Was that... <laughs> I presume that wasn't the case. But did, you, did she sing to you? Yes, she did sing to me. But, you know, there's this sort of myth that, that she was always singing. I mean, she really didn't go into the kitchen and open up the refrigerator door and the light would come on and she'd burst into song. <laughs> you know, she, she, she sang around the house, but mainly because she was rehearsing something... Or, or, or working on something. People would imagine that because she had a, sh a short, tragically short life, that life with her must have been quite tragic as well. It wasn't. My mother was truly one of the funniest women in the world, and that is a real big myth that I've always walked around and, and tried to sort of make sure that people knew that. My mother had tragedies in her life, but she wasn't tragic. She was funny, she was self-deprecating, and people who really knew her really knew how funny she was. Now, she worked awfully hard because when my mom was 37 years old, she had made 39 movies. Gosh. And she had made over 500 radio shows and about 1,200 concerts. So she was always, always working. But that's what she loved to do, okay? And, and she was... For me, I think she was the greatest female entertainer in the world. I think there's a lot who'd agree with you there. I do. She, she gave birth to two equally good entertainers yourself well, my brother I've got a brother so never heard there, him there sing. three of us <laughs> <laughs> but yeah but Liza as well now do yeah. you get on yeah I mean, you're both quite fiery well we're sisters we of course we get on but you know so many people are so interested in our relationship and it was really funny about I don't know about a year ago we had had lunch in Beverly Hills and we came out of the restaurant we were arm in arm and the next day we opened the papers and we heard we weren't speaking <laughs> we both read it and we went, we aren't? You know, so it, it was funny. I'm going away now. I'm not talking to you. Yes. <laughs> you come over here rather, uh, quite a lot. and you, I do. You, you work over here a lot too. I, I saw do. you this summer in Chichester in Babes in Arms. Oh, wasn't it fun? I've been great for you. were having a ball in that. I part, was weren't? having a ball. I love that theatre. And I, I had a ball in Babes in Arms and I, I'm going to do White Christmas again. So where are you doing yeah, that? Yeah, I'm doing White Christmas in Edinburgh and Cardiff. This is very good. An American who's learned to say Edinburgh. Rather yeah. than Edin Edinboro, which we know. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was last week. So, um, I learned. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And then I'm on tour with songs my mother taught me over here. So I'm here for a long time, and I'm very grateful that the UK has been so good to me. Well, we're pretty glad that you come over here. You're great friends, too, with another chap who comes over here quite a lot and has a great following in this country, Barry Manilow. Yes. Barry and I have been f best friends for... A very long time because I'm not giving you away my age right. um, and he always wanted me to to do this incredible legacy of music mm. and I wasn't ready because what's taking you to say what's taking you so long to get around to doing it Lorna Goodness because me. oh Alan it's it was overwhelming for me yeah I wasn't comfortable with my legacy I wasn't comfortable doing these songs it, it, it's very hard to have something follow you into a room before you come into a room and especially when the person isn't there and I'm not alone in this I mean there's Natalie Cole and mm. my friend Lucy Arnaz and and I've just recently met Lisa Marie Presley so it's they're kind of a it's few what they of call us. a lot of baggage it is mm. but once you learn to unpack mm. it's really lovely would you like to unpack a bit for us now I, I, Just I, walk I, over there. Oh, are, I'm very good with the turn of phrase. Are you going to ask me to sing? <laughs> okay. Sing phrase. Okay. Off you pop. Lorna Love. Thank you. <laughs> Go on and pack. <laughs> oh, dear. That'll go down in the annals, won't it? Asking Lorna Love to unpack a bit for me. From the album Songs My Mother Taught Me, singing her version of Chicago. Lorna Love.
I got the surprise, the surprise of my life. I had to stop and stare. I saw a man dancing with his own wife. And you will never guess where. Chicago, Chicago, that toddle in town, the toddle in town, Chicago, Chicago, I'll show you around. I love it, bet your bottom dollar you lose the blues in Chicago, Chicago, the town that Billy Sunday could not shut down. On State Street, that great street, I just want to stay, I just want to say they do things they don't do on Broadway. Say, they have the time, the time of their life. I saw a man who danced with his wife in Chicago. Mrs. O'Leary's cow. No, she, she, life is peachy. Chicago, we'll meet at the pump room. Ambassador East, to say the least, on Shishka Bob and Breast of Squab. We will feast and get fleeced. Don't tell me sin is rampant. Start. The magnificent Lorna Luff. Now it's time to meet my next two guys.